Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can share individual rows uh, from within a SharePoint or Microsoft list. Now, in one of the earlier videos I recorded, and you can find it on my YouTube channel, I explained to you how you can share the whole list. For example, you have a SharePoint site, you have a, a bunch of lists, a bunch of libraries residing on the site, and you just want to share the list and nothing else. And you can easily do it uh, using the share button. Once again, I have a video on that already. Today, though, I'm showing you something else. Today, I would like to show you how you can share a row, an individual row from a list with someone who is not part of your site, not part of your list. This is pretty useful if you have, let's say, a list, you know, a few hundred entries. You don't want to share the whole list. You just want maybe a recipient to see one row one item from your list. Let me show you how to do that. We can actually do it uh, as if we're sharing files and folders, same approach. Right click, you see share or copy link, just like with uh, document libraries. So we're going to click share. And you know you just type in the name of the recipient. By the way, we could also change the link type. Let's leave it alone. Uh, we are going to allow editing, so the recipient will be able to make changes to this row. Uh, we can obviously disable that if we need, if necessary. All right, so in this case, I'm inviting John and you know, hit send. Again, the process for you is um, pretty much identical to sharing a file or folder from within a library. So now let's find out what will happen to John. All right, so John will receive an email. Just uh, It actually arrived just now. Here we go. And essentially, it tells John that I shared this item, you know, with him, and uh, he just follows the prompts, right? So he clicks open, and it brings the recipient straight into the uh, item, into the list item, all right? And essentially, this is the list item we shared. And um, if you recall, uh, I allowed John to make changes. Remember, I left that edit button uh, checked, so John can easily. Uh, you know, make changes to this list item and this list item only, all right? Uh, now, also another thing that's very important is that, um, you know, here it shows me the whole path of the of this item. So this is the name of my site, this is the, the name of my list, and this is the name of my item within the list. If John tries to navigate around, let's click on uh, projects, for example. Look at this, John only gets to see a list with one entry. Remember, my uh, list had a total of three entries. We only shared one entry. So John only sees what has been shared with him. All right, uh, very, very important. And um, if John tries to maybe navigate to the whole site, uh, we'll get access denied because obviously we did not share the whole site. We did not share the whole list. We just shared this one item. All right, so pretty cool um, and useful feature in my opinion. I'm sure there are tons of use cases when you just need to share one you know, row from your list uh, with a few folks who are not part of the site or your list. So uh, once again, hopefully you found uh, this video um, uh, useful. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my uh, blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.